everyone, and welcome back to One Man Stream. This is episode five, and it's entitled Using the List Widget with Graphics. And hopefully you saw our quick hitter two, uh, where we inter introduced the uh, list widget. All right, so let's get into it today. First of all, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, create a list button. And then after we create this list button, we're going to go ahead and map it uh, to a lower third. And if you didn't watch Quick Hitter 2, uh, we're going we're gonna to touch on some of the uh, items that we uh, talked about in the second Quick Hitter, so you won't be lost today. And we're going to map it to our Boxing Fighter lower third with images. And then we're going to map this specific button to the uh, name of Fighter 1. And let's just go ahead and load a list to show us uh, how we can do that. And we're going to choose one of the lists we've made in the past. Select that. And we when we select that list, you can see that the information is auto-populated. But what happens if there's a name uh, left out of the list? Well, what we can do is we can add that name on the fly. And uh, what we'll do is we had an open space there, so we'll just go ahead and click on it and type in new fighter. And then we'll reposition the list so that when we activate it, you'll be able to see it. Let's go ahead and clear that quick hitter number two, lower third. And we're going to bring in the fighter with images. And uh, from the drop down menu, we're going to uh, select the new fighter, and you can see that the fighter one or the red fighter changed to new fighter. And we're going to go ahead and select the correct fighter for that image uh, just to show how easy that is. And let's just go ahead and get rid of that widget that we created and go up to the one that actually belongs in this particular layout. And Right there is the information that this particular list widget is mapped to. Boxing Fighter Lower Images uh, is the one that we're going to be demonstrating today. And then we're going to show how to add that uh, new item on the fly. We're going to call this the same as we called the other one, New Fighter. Now we go back down to the drop-down menu, click New Fighter, and you can see where it changed to new fighter and we'll go back and we'll change it back to what it was previously okay now let's take a look at the red fighter images button we'll click on that and there's the information that it's uh, mapped to boxing fighter lower images and then the red fighter images which is also fighter one and you can see three images that we currently uh, have in that list and click on the drop down menu, select one of the images, and you can see where that image changed on the red fighter. And we'll do it once more, and you can see again uh, where the fighter images uh, changes back. So let's look at the blue fighter. It's pretty much the same thing, it's the same input, but this time we're mapping it to blue fighter image. And we'll show you a couple of examples from the drop down menu for blue fighter image. And as you can see, we click on the image and the fighter image changes in that lower third. And we'll go ahead and switch it back. Well, how do you get these items in the list? Well, we're going to do it just very simply using Notepad. And um, I've been doing this for a while, so I have quite a few fighter images. So let's just go ahead and open up our fighter images folder and we're going to select uh, some images at random. We'll go ahead and click on that one there. And then we're going to click on Copy Path. And then we're going to go back to our Notepad document and right click and paste. And let's go back to our Images folder, select one more. Copy path again, find an open area, right click and paste, and let's go ahead and find us one more fighter. 
Let's go back to our fighter images folder. Scroll up a little bit. And let's go ahead and take that one right there. DeMontez Duncan. Click on that. Copy path. Find an open area. Right click and paste. And that'll be good enough for this example. Let's go ahead and save it. And we're just going to call it Fighter Images for Test. And save. But one thing that is very important here is you have to remove those quote marks from where it copies the path. So we'll take the quote marks out at the beginning of that and at the end of it. And then we'll go ahead and save it. Um, I've pulled my hair out before because I haven't removed the quotes and it's like I know I've got everything set up right. Why aren't these images being displayed? That's the reason why. Make sure you go back and take those quotes out. Now we're going to go back and load that list that we just created. And there it is right there. Go ahead and click Select. And then let's go to the drop-down menu. And you can see those three fighters that we just added. There's the first one. There's the second one. And there's the third one, DeMontez Duncan. And that's how easy it is to make a list. Okay, now let's go ahead and demonstrate how easy it is to add another item to the list. We'll click the plus button there, and that's going to create a line at the bottom of our list. And then we're going to go back to our Fighter Images folder, select another fighter, copy the path, go to that open line, right click and paste. And we'll go ahead and click OK and uh, close this list out. And then go to the drop-down menu, and there's that new image we just added. And you can see in Red Fighter or Fighter 1 that new image. That's how easy it is to also add an image to one of these lists. And this is what uh, is also populated in this graphic. This is the uh, timer widget. And along with some of the things we talked about in a previous uh, episode, the start clock, pause clock, and reset clock. And that's wh that where it's mapped to. And then we also spoke about, spoke about this before on completion, show corner bug. So that's some more of the automation that you can do uh, with vMix UTC. And let's look behind the corner bug. And as I always like to do, let's clear that overlay out before we bring something else in so we don't have something on top of something else. So we're going to take that overlay out if something's there, and then we're going to bring the uh, corner bug overlay in on channel three. And again, I have the execute tick box checked with show corner bug uh, in the link. The other item on this graphic is the uh, round number. And let's go ahead and take a look at the round number button. And it's a drop down menu. It's actually another uh, example of the list widget. And I have these pre made. And we'll just go ahead and click another one. You can see that it changes. And let's go ahead and click one more. And you can see that it's uh, reflected on the graphic. So let's go ahead and get rid of that graphic. Let's go ahead and click the Start Round button that we've talked about previously. You can see that graphic comes in. The round is reflected. The timer starts. And then after 15 seconds, that uh, corner bug comes in. That does it for today's episode. Make sure you tune in next week, and we're going to continue with this list widget idea with list widget with bar separated values. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to like and subscribe so you'll be alerted when new episodes are added. Thank you so much.